Welcome, folks, to Louisiana. Several months ago, I got in contact with a subscriber from Cajun Country. Next thing you know, I'm booking a trip to the Deep South to meet up with a couple of Louisiana locals. So we are in Baton Rouge. My name is Thomas Jones. I've been living in Louisiana for 35 years, my whole life. Homer Jones, I've been living in Louisiana all my life. Been alligator hunting for about 36, 37 years. You ever had alligator thumb? I have not. <laughs> we're gonna fry it. We're gonna fry it tomorrow night. I've been alligator hunting my whole life, ever since I was probably five years old, and going out with my dad every alligator season in September. We go out and catch as many alligators as the tags we have. The three main ways you catch alligators is you can either catch them with a rod and reel, or you can catch them with a throw hook with the string attached to it or you can catch them with a you hook the lines on the trees with clothes pins and hang it over the water hang the chicken or whatever bait you want to use hang it over the water and wait overnight fortunately before I even arrived in Louisiana Thomas's friend mr. Craig set several of these gator lines so I could get my feet wet in the Louisiana tradition of hunting gators by the time I arrived, it was already time to head down a back road to check the first line to see if we got any bites during the night. That's a good one. Got a good one on there? Hey, that's when you ain't had nothing on this morning? I guess somebody got hungry at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, guys, uh, Thomas was telling me you have to wait overnight because they mostly feed at night, but uh, some will feed in the day. And apparently there was nothing. There was nothing on this hook, right? Like this this morning, this morning there was nothing, but something must have come up in the afternoon and bit it. Let's get down close here. <laughs> oh, that's. This is a. Uh, this is a little bit better one right here. <laughs> I'll shoot this one. I volunteer. All right, guys. I am. I'm gonna be the one to kill this alligator. Got to get a gun first. All right. It ain't loaded. It ain't loaded. Rack it back when you get down there. All right. All right, guys. So we got a 22 Magnum right here. So. And we are ready to go. Hey. You want to trim these limbs so you can get a better shot with? I don't know how short I'm gonna be. We're chopping away the tree guys so that we can get a good clean shot of this gator. All right, so just to make sure I know inst instructions are clear, I shoot, try to, I'm trying to get under that plate right behind the eyes. Yep. Shoot at an angle. If he's facing you? Yeah, if it's facing me? Right between the eyes. Right between the eyes, all right. I'm gonna get him closer. Shot him in the eyeball. Yeah, is he dead or do I have to do it again? You're gonna do it again. I'm gonna get him close. Hold on, let him get him close. He's not gonna bite you. So right between. Go up, go up to him. All right. And you can almost put it on him. There we go. Was that good? That was good. That was good. Wow. <laughs> All right, you do the work. <laughs> All right. Good grief. Wow, that is crazy. Well, there we go, guys. I killed Open his mouth. my first alligator. That is Your crazy. Turn. Wow. <laughs> Woo. So, are we going to eat this bad boy? We're going to eat him. Excellent. That's one of the first things, too, Angel. We got to find out how big your trophy is. Okay, sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, we always measure our sturgeon right, every look, time. Look. Seven foot five. Seven foot five. Cool. Okay. Longer than me. That skin is crazy feeling. All right, let's do this one. Okay. Somewhere so, up in here. I, what do I do? Make a slit. 
Excellent. Stick your knife through somewhere in there. You want to come out pretty much on the same angle or the other side. Is, is the one, I'm trying to bore a hole in it. Yes. Yep. You just want to slice it. Rip it through. Okay. And now she's legal. Now she's legal. Okay. Yep. Cool. Woo! First ever tagged gator right there. Thank you so much, Mr. Craig. Not a problem. And Thomas. <laughs> and boys. And Mr. Homer. Appreciate it. That is cool. Hopefully the first of many. All right, we're at the third, third trap here. And something on this one. Oh look, there's another one over there. So have you ever shot one before? Nope. All right. What's your name? Kobe Disatel. Kobe Disatel. Have you got some air plugs? No. Oh, you don't need no air plugs. Kobe. <laughs> Watch for girls. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, did you check to see if there's one in it? Oh, uh, yeah. No, they don't have one in it. I was just going to pin the thing down. Stand right down. Shoot it straight that way. Smoke. Behind, right behind our car. You ready? Right between now. Don't you see a big old hole through <sighs> Yeah, mm. I think he's dead. I think. Cool. First gator. First gator that you shot. Nice hey, shot, dude. How hard was that? <laughs> I'm talking about, boy. Nice. Ow. Do you like to eat gator? No. You don't like to eat them? I'm ex that's, a, that's what the part I'm looking forward to the most. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, he smells kind of stinky. Nice job, my friend. Kind of freaking me out the way that thing's still moving. We're gonna get the drone out. There are a ton of gators on this pond. Let's check them out. Take them big gators. They got that roast like that. Oh, you put that on a barbecue pit. My God. Like eat the cheeks. Yep. But you. Uh, it's, but it's, it's on a big gator. Big gator. Okay. Well, big gator. Big be a big old roast. That's oh, the jaw God. meat is, is no fat. It's all white meat. Mm -hmm. And you tenderloin. No, and you tenderloin in here. You got a tenderloin mm -hmm. that comes. It just pulls out once you cut it in there and you cut it's, it. It'll be about that one. Will be about that big around and it goes to nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You yeah. cut it you right in one back. I'll explain right. to you when we're cleaning them. Sounds good. Let's do it. Right. You're doing what? Skinning it to make yeah. boot? Up. Alligator boot. <laughs> That's good. We use the whole hide to make boots or just a part of it? Part of it. Yeah, straight up. Just cut the skin all the way around. Hey, man. We're skinning out an alligator with some boots. Uh, skin it up the leg, skin it around the horns on the top. That is some thick skin right there, guys. I mean, that is cool. And he's cutting the meat away from the skin. Looks just like chicken or something. <laughs> do you use that to do you use like the horns or anything? Or what? What are those called? You, yeah, it's the horns. Oh, the, okay, you that's. Can, you can make stuff out of it. Alligator tongue. Good Louisiana delicacy. Really? 
Oh, that's crazy. You ever had alligator tongue? I have not. <laughs> We're gonna fry it. We're gonna fry it tomorrow night. And there we go, guys. Look at all of that meat right there. Taking the feet off. That is just a lot of good gator meat right there. The cheeks, tons of cheek meat. Jaw meat. Jaw meat, tons of, uh, there's the tongue. <laughs> tongue meat. This is the tenderloin of a gator. It's, it's one of the best meats on a gator beside the jaw meat. So he's cutting the tenderloin out on the tail. Right here. Oh yeah, you can just see. And that's so the rest of the on the alli entire alligator, it's red meat except for that part. Is that, am I understanding that? Right? Jaw meat. The jaw meat. And, and the tenderloin is white. There's your other tenderloin. That is beautiful. All right, guys, we're cutting open the stomach here. We're gonna get the hook out of this bad boy, and I'm actually really curious to see what. This gator's been eating what's in the guts, as we say. So the alligator eats nuts. I did not know that. A stick? A stick, okay. Fish. Another stick, part of a fish. Oh, this smells amazing. I did not know they'd eat nuts like that. That's crazy. Trump. Look at the trash. <laughs> just like trash, just like sticks. Well, that's exactly what it is. And there's the hook. Ooh, that smells like something. Mm. What, well, beef melt, you say? And there is the hook right there. And this is the skin all laid out in the sun. They're going to make a pair of boots. You know, if I can get a hold of a picture of the pair of boots when they're finished, I will put that in the video for you guys to see. All right, guys, it is the next day. We are back at the house where Mr. Homer is preparing this alligator. We're gonna eat it three different ways today. So here we have this huge smoker. What kind of wood are you using with this, sir? Pecan wood. Pecan wood, right there. A bunch of gator strips hanging up. I actually tried one already when I first got here. He uh, gave me a small piece and it is delicious. Do you smoke gator that much? When it's gator season, when we get it, I smoke it. Okay. It's real good. I was going to say, that, that is delicious. How long do you usually cook it? Three to, sometime three, four hours, five hours. The fat in the alligator, they used to use it for medicine, like castor oil, with clear coal and all that. You eat it or you taste it. I tasted it before. And it's very nasty. Very nasty. So very we, nasty. So guys, we smoke this like crazy. It. And uh, as it gets uh, the dry, and as it gets dry, the gator fat drips off there, and you want the gator fat gone. See all these little tips right here? That's the fat, fat. and you want that gone because that tastes very nasty, which I think is very unusual because a lot of times on like pork and beef and all that stuff, I love the fatty parts. Then over here we have the second method, Mr. Homer. What do we have going on here? We are balling. I cut all the fat off I can see but you got a little fat inside the meat okay and once I take it and I ball it you'll see a foam see the foam oh yeah uh-huh and that's alligator fat so check that out guys all that foamy stuff you see right there that's gator fat we're gonna dip it all This here ain't much because I cleaned it real good. Mm-hmm. Now that the gator is boiled off, Mr. Homer is going to start making the... How do you say it? I don't want to mess up the name of it. Sauce piquant. Sauce piquant. A little tomato sauce, some diced onions, salt, some salt. 
onion powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and a little roux. How long will we let this cook? Oh, hour and a half. An hour and a half. Just letting it boil down, guys. Get it thick. I'm gonna put a little bit of buttermilk for my batter on the gator. Got cayenne, garlic, black pepper, and salt. They put cayenne on almost everything here, guys, and that's what gives it that, uh, that little bit of kick. The, the signature Louisiana flavor. That is cool. And this here is jaw meat okay. and tenderloin. And tenderloin. Okay, so those are the, that's the white meat. Yes, sir. All right, now it's time to start frying these bad boys up. So the gator's been marinating for a while, guys. And uh, pop it right in the front. Looks good. Oh man, I love the sound of things frying. Beautiful. Oh, it's a party. It's a party now. It looks like chicken strips to me, guys. Uh huh. That it looks. I said, tastes like chicken. Uh huh. In addition to the fried alligator, guys, they've also prepared what kind of. There's some regular Atlantic golf shrimp. golf shrimp. Oh yeah, of course, golf shrimp. I'm thinking Atlantic, but <laughs> here in Louisiana. Louisiana. Louisiana oh golf. yeah, that's in Louisiana golf shrimp. Are we just gonna deep fry these as well? Yes. All right, guys, it is done. Looking crispy. Woo. Gator nuggets. All right, guys, gonna try fried gator first time. Thank you so much. I did not think at the beginning of the year to come down to Louisiana to catch some cooking gator. It's a little bit chewy. I love the crisp on it. A little bit better than chicken. Honestly, that's exactly what it is. You cook this amazing. Way better with more crust. The more mm -hmm. crust, the better. Mm -hmm. All right, extra cr I'm basically eating extra crispy gator right now. Amazing. Batch number two. He added a little bit more Tony's. Is that Tony Sash? Tony's season. Is this like the Louisiana like official? Is this special to Louisiana or straight out of Baton Rouge? Straight out of Baton Rouge. Cool. Now he's mixing up some shrimp as well. This is a bonus thrown in. I did not know we were having shrimp this afternoon. Most people pull the heads completely off. We pop the holes off, leave all the whiskers and stuff, and it. it's a good, good. Crispy makes it even better. I have never eaten crawfish with the with the legs and stuff, or the whiskers, as you say, still on them. So is that? Yeah, that's just the legs of the shrimp, correct? Yeah. Yeah. See, so guys, look at all the, all the little legs right in there. That is interesting. I've never eaten this before either. All right, guys. So Hunter, who is Thomas's son, he mixed up for me some. What what, what do you call this? You could just call it crawfish dip. Crawfish dip has mayonnaise, yes, ketchup. ketchup seasonings, and different things in it. He says it's real good to dip the gator in. In there. Hot. That's really good too. Delicious. Thank you, honey. First batch of shrimp are done. We got Bayou shrimp. Louisiana gator, amazing. All right guys, first time. Trying shrimp with the head on, or the legs on. Is that the whole head on there? Or just, just the legs. Just the legs, okay, I see. I just popped it off, there it is, right there. I just, I've been throwing away my whole life, been throwing away perfectly good part of the shrimp. <laughs> and that's really good, man. I like the spice on that. I don't know what you guys marinated that in, but that's really good. And we have the third way of cooking the gator, the sauce, sauce piquant? Is that, sauce am piquant. I saying that right? Yes, sir. Oh, and it is thick. Looks beautiful, gravy, looks like, basically gator in gravy. Now, do you put that over rice or do you eat it just like that? Put it over rice, you can put it over fried gator, put it over, put it over shrimp, over bread, any way you want to eat it. Beautiful. I am getting the full Louisiana experience. Sauce pecan is the red meat. I have to say, I love the texture of alligator because it's chewy. So imagine chicken, I would say, but just like chewy chicken, and that's the texture. This is delicious. I would say 
Out of all three ways I've had them, I would say the deep frying actually deep is my favorite. It's my favorite. All three of them are truly delicious, and I appreciate it. But deep frying is the favorite one. Mr. Homer, thank you so much. You will. I appreciate it. Guys, this is just the first first gator hunt we still got a whole bunch of stuff coming up so stay tuned subscribe if you guys are new and over here we have thomas thomas thank you so much oh, no problem Man, i appreciate yeah. everything guys he's the one that got this whole thing started and if you guys want to check out the playlist of all of the catch and cook videos i've ever made in case you guys missed some i'll put that right here and check out the newest video right there thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one